mentioned uh, earlier that this is the largest deficit in the last nine games for Creighton. It's the first time in five home games that they've trailed here at home, and McDermott pans his first bucket. Did not come in gun shy today, shooting and firing on all cylinders. McDermott with a little post up. That is jumper from 17, or excuse me, from 19 is good. East tournament heads to Madison Square Garden. Took Good. Stainbrook off him, excuse me, partner, and put Fillmore on him to be able to close out. Fillmore a little quick of foot. Didn't matter there with McDermott on the cut. This is what he said. It's the first thing that really worried him, and you can see why. Xavier, excellent, effective in the full court. Savage Kristen averaging just under 16 a game. Nice drive by the freshman, Devin. And see happen. Brooks with the spin move. Good pass. Managa for three. Good! here. Martino trying to post up as Reynolds helps out and now has McDermott. Oh, we had Artino for a second. And McDermott turnaround jumper for 15. Playing to get back on defense and close out the jump shooters. They seem to have righted that ship right now. No surprise they're back in this. Devin Brooks from 17. It's good. It's a 9-0 run now for the Blue Jays. Oh, pulls it down. Things getting physical under there. Rocky has not taken a three-pointer yet. Here's Managa. It's good. Managa for three. Pull that trigger. Kristen has it go tight off the side of the rim. So now Creighton can tie it or take the lead. Rocky way wow. downtown. Wow. Good. <laughs> that was from the parking lot. That was not close. And he didn't hesitate at all. 15-1 run for the Creighton Blue Jays. Listen to this crowd. This run has lasted about five minutes. Back from your teammates. Reward that pass by being ready to shoot. Do not just sit here and be lazy and act like you know you didn't expect a ball to come. How impressive has Devin Brooks been in this first half? Well, he got the memo that the lane is wide open. And Game we're even at 26 with 7.20 to the play here in the first half. Brooks has been Ooh, the energizer pass. buddy. How about that pass and the finish by Dingman? Dingman doing it. Uh, obviously, picks up the foul there. Look at that pass right there. Dingman doing a great job of moving, but it's the but the moving without the basketball is a lost art. McDermott for three off oh, the inbounds, a little too easy. When he hits the rim, Lotus Stainbrook. Stainbrook had an opening against Rocky, but couldn't complete it. Digman for three. Odd oh. shot. McDermott rebound. Reverses. Good. McDermott. Two things on that last play. Who's the first guy down? Boy, they're not playing at this point. Rocky wow. got a little bit of a seal and he gets it to go. Rocky for three. He is unconscious. <laughs> That's not, that is a fluorescent green light Ethan Rocky has. He doesn't even hit. In this ball game, there's McDermott with a little slip to the basket. That's worked twice today perfectly. And that's the movement. Houston is a first team preseason all Big East selection. Anytime, McDermott. Anytime you talk to an NBA scout, and there's someone here tonight. Fillmore trying to get to a thousand. Shot is no good. The rebound by Chapman. Xavier trying to climb the boards and get that offensive rebound. Good block out. Wow. <laughs> From the Blue Jays logo. Eat that at the next level. Doesn't matter where he posts up. He can post up close to the bucket. Wow. Rocky rattles it home. It's not fair, partner. <laughs> there isn't a defense in the country. That's designed to stop that. Ball gets swung all the way across the court. Help side is slumping off in the lane. You don't expect him to shoot it from out there, but he does. And McDermott misdirects that shot. Here comes wow. Rocky again from downtown. <laughs> and this place just gets rocking. Ethan Rocky unconscious. Wow, that one was from by us. At mid-court, you can see it going in, too, yeah. from where we were. Lined up perfectly. Folks at Xavier were talking about how he was the man, and there weren't a lot of go-to guys, and he would force a lot of shots. He's very more, he's very much comfortable in his own Pass. skin. Artino with the pass for Brooks. I have to 
say that. They're running the backcourt. Brooks looking inside for Artino. Puts it on the floor. Speeds along the baseline. Big wraparound pass. And the jumper is good. That was all about the pass, I think. Absolutely. Point shooting. The bench points 12 for Creighton. A lot of that's because of Brooks. Rocky's back in. Managa off to the corner. Here is Dingman with the slam. That was all set up by Manigat and the pump fake and the pass to the corner. The pump fake drew defenders. When he got it to the corner, there was nobody left to run out on the defense. Just being aggressive that time and Dingman being rewarded. McDermott with the cleanup and he's fouled. The enthusiasm. How about the hard work? Running down. His shoulders not bother him whatsoever. Watch him run the floor. Just doesn't give up on the play. Dingman there and McDermott. Guys eat. Managa working against Brooks. Crossover. Using his speed. Can't get it to go. Follows it beautifully. And jumped once for the layup and beat Stanford in this game. That Xavier stays in this game. Down 10 right now. You want to be able to get some steals off the defensive end that lead to easy buckets, at the very least, be efficient on offense. That's not going to happen. Stainbrook was no match defensively. No offense. He's a wonderful year. Big matchups earlier on in the season, and it makes teams better later on when they approach March. Little pressure put on by Xavier. Brooks feeds McDermott, who lays it in. How about the running of the court? What is this? Creighton is out rebounding Xavier right now. Has that made a is, the, is that a factor in tonight's game? Absolutely, because coming into this game, they have the they're the best rebounding team in the Big East with a margin of plus seven. So if you get out for the steal, just picking up the pace and hopefully putting the offense in situations they're unaccustomed to, and hopefully that'll lead to something good for your team. Wow. McDermott in position. Shot clock is at 10. Do a good job of being patient. Now you've got to operate. Five seconds left. Here's Chapman. He'll stop and launch the wow. three. Good! Wow. 